Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Darmian card to review today. Uh, this card is very interesting, eh? So he's six foot tall, medium high work rates, right footed, three star skills, five star weak foot. So guys, by default, we're already starting off really well on the card because most of the times that you play this game, you keep your fullbacks on stay back while attacking, right? So him being on a medium high work rate, is going to be great to work with in my opinion he'll offer some sort of attacking presence because of the medium but it's mostly going to be defending with a card like this in your team right uh in-game player traits uh he has none in-game attributes he's going to be working with 91 acceleration 91 for sprint speed now because this is a showdown card and he could potentially get upgraded i feel like just for now okay just for now a shadow chemistry style on this card is going to be great to work with right because Defending, passing, dribbling with a five-star weak foot while working with perfect pace, great defensive stats while while having 91 aggression is fantastic. But here's the thing. If he gets upgraded, you're not going to give him a shadow chemistry style because if he gets plus twos or threes for the acceleration and sprint speed, you're going to give him an anchor, right? And if you give him the anchor, the extra aggression, the extra strength, the extra jumping, the defense you're potentially looking at one of the better fullbacks in the game with the upgrade, right? But yeah, even just right now, guys, currently on a shadow chemistry style, he looks great. You would just be lacking in strength from time to time, but not as often as you think because of the fact that he's six foot tall than average body type. As you guys know, average body type, I absolutely hate in the attacking positions, but in the defensive positions, that physical presence is fantastic to work with, right? So for now, we are going to be giving him an anchor chemistry style for the 96-96 because we're going to be boosting his strength, his aggression, his defensive stats as much as possible. Uh, base card stats for shooting is okay. It doesn't really matter that much because of the card like this, you're mostly going to be defending anyways. Uh, he has really good passing stats except for vision, uh, considering the fact that he also has that five-star weak foot to work with at an 86 composure when under pressure. So some very good stuff there. Uh, dribbling stats looks great on this card, considering the fact that he's six foot tall than average body type. Honestly, you know, you can call me a rat all you want, but with the through ball meta being a thing, I could totally see this card being used in the center back position 100%. Like for me, it, for me uh, in the Spanish team, I was actually using Kappa as a center back and he was performing better than the PK card because they may have done whatever they wanted to do with the fullbacks, but it, it almost changed. I, don't know, I wouldn't say it didn't change anything, but it almost changed nothing because if you use fullbacks at center back and they have the pace and defensive qualities to deal with stuff, especially in his case, right? Like if you take a look at this card on a shadow chemistry style, right? He's going to have 99, 99, right? Even let's just say you started him off in a starting 11, right? 97, 97, but his defensive stats is in the mid 90s area, except for defensive awareness, but medium high work rates. OK, so it's just something to look at. It's, just, it's something to look at, look at for sure. Uh, but yeah, dribbling, definitely very nice with his body type and height. Defensive stats is set up perfectly for an anchor or a shadow chemistry style. And then his physical set up really nicely, too, because he even has the 93 stamina to work with as well. So he just looks pretty good, honestly, especially in his case, because uh, Let's just say you guys want to get the uh, Barella link, right? Easy little triple link set up right there. There's so many links that you can work with when it comes to this Darmian card, which is another very, very huge variable to work with, right? So um, with him in game, guys, we're going to be using him in the fullback position mostly uh, on the anchor chemistry style for most games. But then we are going to be trying him out uh, with the shadow as well, just to see what he's like in those situations. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. Let's get started. Ooh, let's go, Darmian. Well done. I think for me, I know that most people are going to be giving him an anchor, especially with a boost. If he gets a boost, an anchor is definitely going to be the obvious choice. But I think for now, I'd still give him a shadow since pace is like so important. Yeah, so he didn't really do much there. The registration is always going to be weird in those situations, so I don't mind if he doesn't get it. You know what? I was like, why not, bro? Why not? He gets the ball. Go for it. Nice. Really possession based, too, actually.
Yeah, just from L trigger shield. Nothing else. Good little animation to put the ball out of play. Oh, it's a good initial interception though. He got it in the air too. No. See, like that's what I'm saying, right? Like in those situations there, that's why I want that extra acceleration and sprint speed. So you want to try to make it as high as possible for your fullbacks. Like that's why I don't really care about giving anchors for these guys. But um, yeah, if he gets the upgrade, then the anchor is probably going to be the most obvious choice. But just, it just depends on how they improve him if they end up winning. Oh, I try to shot cancel. Once I saw the defender in front of me, I'm like, no, please. Oh, that's with the weak foot too, eh? That's actually nutty. Oh, and an anchor, he still gets it. The weak foot's really cool to work with, I think, man. That's going to be like the best part. Nice pass. Yeah, so right there, I just try to control the... Um... So when you're running with the uh, defenders, you need to be able to control the shield so that you slow down while turning. Second man press, he just takes him out, huh? <laughs> oh, nice job, Darmian. Heading, heading in the air is like, I don't always expect to get the ball, so it's pretty random for the most part. Oh, nothing there. This track back is good, though. That's the one thing I want. I just want extra pace. I, I, in this game, you just need it, bro. I'm telling you. That's really good. You see how I, like, switched off of him because I wanted to see if he would actually defend that himself? He did. Oh, solid. Yeah, just the extra pace, just to get that a little bit of extra acceleration and sprint speed to get that, you know? Then again, guys, again, with an upgrade, it's nice to boost the aggression with the anchor, too. Look, we're on switch with Darmian. Okay, guys, so for this next game, I want to give him the shadow just because of the way that the card is currently formatted. Um, so far, so good on this card, to be honest. Like, he's been defending pretty well for the most part. Uh, the body type and height is definitely very, very helpful. Wish he got that one there. Like an animation of what coming off would be crazy. Oh, that's my fault because I'm holding out trigger and kind of hoping that he does something there. Yeah, see, it's funny, man, because like even if it's that extra like five, I feel that extra acceleration on the card. I really do, man. I like it more. I'm going to try to actually track here. Yeah, I, I just feel like it's super necessary, man, honestly. I'm going to use all trigger. But again, with an upgrade, an anchor might be perfectly fine. We'll go for like Ron switch here. Noise. Manual tracking here. Beauty. Ball roll. Pass off. Believe it or not, like I always tell you guys, it's actually better when you don't manually track them. You should just leave them, leave them be, and they'll actually track back quickly by themselves, especially in his case with his medium high work rates. Lagrand switch again. Beauty. Look at that space I have now. All right. You have penalties? Let's see. Mateo Darmian, 48 penalties. We will make this work. I'm did I green that? I'm pretty sure I did, right? And I still missed? I think I did. Almost, almost. I appreciate the efforts completely there. If he gets upgraded, guys, we're looking at one of the better right backs in the game. I'm just saying, because that anchor would be crazy on him with an extra pace boost on him. But even still, it's a good card as it is right now. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Darmian card. So we were trying him out with both of the chemistry styles, the anchor and the shadow chemistry style. 
there's no right or wrong answer. It just depends on what you prefer. Like for me, I think that pace is super, super important uh, when it comes to the meta of the game because of the law passes, uh, because of the through ball. So I think having near enough close to perfect pace is going to be super, super important. Now with Darmian, making this type of comparison is completely pointless, but let me just show you guys the Hakimi card, right? So with Hakimi in game, guys, he has a lean body type with his dribbling stats. So with a card like this, uh, with Hakimi, you're going to feel him being a little more agile, whereas with Darmian, you're going to feel him being more defensive oriented, which again is not a problem because he's going to be on stay back while attacking most of the times anyways, right? And when I'm doing the review, I'm the one that's pushing him out of position like an idiot because I'm trying to force and see what his pace is like when I do that. But most of the times, guys, you wouldn't do that. I just test him out to see what it's like in those situations because with Darmian on the medium high work rates on stay back while attacking, Again, even just right now, if you want to give him an anchor chemistry style, you totally could, and he'll actually perform pretty well for you because you're not going to overcommit him like crazy. You just kind of want him to occupy that certain position. But just like the Muriel card, and it's very unfortunate, I think if they tie, they both get an upgrade, right? Honestly, that would be great because they're both cool cards for what it is. But with Darmian, on an anchor with base card stats being increased for pace, dribbling, defense, and the physical... You're looking at one of the better fullbacks in the game, 100%, because of the fact that he's a six foot tall player with an average body type. Because honestly, guys, if you want to use a card like this at center back, you genuinely could. Like as like I was saying earlier, if you give him a shadow on a seven chem little situation over here, his defense is still going to be perfectly fine in game because he has the medium high work rates and he has a really good height with the body type. But then on top of all of that, he has a five-star weak foot to work with, okay? So, in my opinion, it's a good SBC. There's so many links that you can work with when it comes to him as well at 144K, in my opinion. Because, guys, if we do a comparison, right, between the fullbacks in this league, the only, th the only main one I can think of right now is the Quadrado card. Florenzi, I actually never ended up trying. But here's the thing with Florenzi. I already see it, right? 78 physical. Sure, you can give him a shadow, but then you lack in strength and aggression. So yeah, you can get this card to buy him off the market, Italian links, whatever. But he doesn't have that physical presence, right? Uh, Doom Free is not really important. The only other player I would compare to is genuinely Quadrado, because Quadrado is actually, to be fair, pretty solid in this game. Like, if you give him an anchor, again, you notice the lack in strength, but he's a more agile type of player. He has the five-star skills, so it's a different type of player to use in general for your team, right? But... Uh, with Darmian giving you those Italian links, that interlink, uh, the fact that he could be one of the best fullbacks in the game with a potential upgrade, which we don't know if they're going to win or not, right? It's a pretty cool SBC, in my opinion, especially for that Barella link, because Barella is a very, very solid card uh, to use this year. Like, yeah, I think he's like a three-star, three-star player, but still very, very good for what it is. So, yeah, for me personally, I don't mind the price of the SBC. I think he's very good. He offers you very good links as well, so... Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with him. I think he'll he'll last a pretty decent majority of the year for what he offers in game. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.